killing me, Smalls. Good evening, I'm Glenn Mills. We do begin with breaking news out of Rexburg, Idaho tonight. Law enforcement officers moved in and arrested Chad Daybell today, and police say they have found human remains at his property in Salem, Idaho. And as we're hearing tonight, those are the remains of JJ and Tylee. ABC4's Jason Wynn joining us now live from Rexburg with more on this discovery. Jason, what's the latest tonight? Glenn, the mayor tells me that the children were found on Chad Daybell's property and that the children that we are talking about are JJ and Tylee. Uh, and from what the mayor has told us is that this does bring closure, as you just mentioned. And police say, are telling us, all they're telling us is that there was human remains found on Chad Daybell's property. But here's what we know. I want you to take a look at your screen because this is a photo of Chad Daybell being arrested about a mile outside side of where his home is and right up after that is going to be re newly released mugshots of Chad Daybell from the Rexburg Police Department. Now Daybell is in jail where online records indicate he was arrested for destruction or concealment of evidence. Tuesday's search was the largest search since January where the sheriff's office obtained 43 pieces of evidence in another case. Today's Rexburg Police, or today I should say, Rexburg Police, Fremont County Sheriff's Office, and the FBI conducted a search warrant on Chad Daybell's property, focusing behind a red barn. This is the same property Tammy Daybell died on. Her case is also being reviewed. Now back to the mayor's comments. Here is my interview with him you'll only see on ABC4 News. I guess the, the big question is, is, you know, how do you feel about the community responding to the news right now? Well, it, it's, it's a sad day for Rexburg, you know, of course, to find out the news uh, about the, the kids. But on the other hand, it's, it's a good day in the sense that it's good to try to bring some closure to the family and to this story, you know, that's uh, been dragged out for so long. and. So we're, we're, we're glad to have that closure, but it, it is a very sad day for the people who, who knew those kids and, you know, that, that loved them and cared about them. So, yeah. you know, we're, it, it's really, there's nothing to celebrate. Are you indicating that they found the kids? Oh. So we did ask the mayor if he is indicating if they found the kids. His immediate response after that was, oh, I did reach out to the Rexburg Police Department to find out if what he was saying is true. I have not heard back from the Rexburg Police Department if they found Tylee and JJ at Chad Daybell's property. Uh, again, all we know is from what the press conference, what they revealed at the press conference and that they're waiting on autopsy reports. I can also tell you tonight that I spoke with a representative of the grandparents, Kay and Larry Woodcock, who told us, who told us to air this interview. Tomorrow, Chad Daybell, he's going to be in court at 11 o'clock. We're going to cover this and we're going to continue to tell you about this story on ABC4news.com. I'm Jason Wynn, live in Rexburg, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Jason. This case has taken some bizarre twists and turns. Here's a breakdown of the timeline for the investigations involving Chad and Lori Daybell and her missing children, Tylee and JJ. In July of last year, Lori Daybell's brother shot and killed her fourth husband in Arizona. He claimed self-defense. October 2019, Chad Daybell's wife Tammy died. Her death has recently been ruled suspicious. Her body was exhumed and investigators are awaiting the results from the medical examiner. Less than three weeks after Chad's wife Tammy died, he married Lori in Hawaii. On December 20th, Rexburg police launched a missing persons case for JJ and Tylee. January 25th, a judge ordered Lori to produce her children. On February 20th, Lori was arrested in Hawaii and extradited back to Idaho. On March 6th, Lori appeared in court. 
She remains in jail and will be back in court in July. 